hello everyone namaskar i hope you all are doing great today in this uh, video we will discuss ice and rain protection system of our qt of our airbus a320 it is a video of journal overview i will not cover uh, each and every line from the fcom if you uh, watch this uh, uh, video in detail then i have made a separate video in which i have discussed uh, fcom line by line uh, the same system right in this video we will discuss uh, briefly how the wing anti ice engine anti ice uh, window heating and probe heating works and uh, few information about uh, rain removal uh let's start with wing anti ice but before starting uh, disclaimer i do not own any of the image and content used in this course all of it is just a reproduction of airbus manuals official documents or images from the google just to serve the purpose of easy understanding of the systems and procedures i request you to keep this video at 1.5 or 1.25 because my rate of speech becomes very low uh, as the video progresses uh, it will save your watch time also uh, i request you to uh, correct me in in case of any in inappropriate or incorrect explanation please comment if you like the video or even if you don't uh, this is the only thing i ask i don't ask you to subscribe but to comment it helps me to improve uh, let's start with the wing anti ice first we will cover wing anti ice first so uh, three outboard slats three outboard slats are anti iced with hot air from the pneumatic system pneumatic air is taken from the the engine and it is given for the wing anti ice so three outboard slats air is given and three outboard air is given and the three outboard slats number 3 4 and 5 are supplied The wing anti-ice push button on the anti-ice panel controls the opening and closing of the pneumatic valves on each engine. There is a single push button for both wings. Here it is, the center of your screen. Wing anti-ice. on ground the valve will open for testing purpose uh, and will close after 30 second this is a point to remember on ground it does not operate but yes it will operate for 30 second for testing purpose only the valve closes automatically under three conditions there are three conditions when this valve will close automatically i am talking about this valve over here this valve number 1 if leak is detected in the system number 2 if there is an electrical failure and number 3 after landing obviously when aircraft is on the ground it will not work number 1 number 2 if leak is detected anywhere so this valve will close automatically number 3 and very important when there is an electrical failure in case of electrical failure wing anti ice wing anti ice closes but same with electrical failure engine anti ice works engine anti ice works i will discuss about engine anti ice uh, uh, nacelle anti icing after some time so there are three these three conditions that's it it was uh, all about it was all general overview of this wing anti ice now comes the engine anti icing now comes the engine anti icing <coughs> so uh, the engine anti ice valves are electrically controlled and pneumatically operated now uh, i will try to uh, make you understand one thing here only i used to get uh, confused which valve is controlled op uh, sorry controlled electrically which valve is operated pneumatically which valve is operated hydraulically so every valve is controlled electrically most of the valves are controlled electrically there are two thing control 
एंड ऑपरेशन ऑपरेट एज स्विचेज आर इलेक्ट्रिकल वी है वी हैव इलेक्ट्रिकल स्विचेज सो एवरी इफ एनी वॉल्व इज कनेक्टेड विद द स्विच इफ देर इज अ स्विच टू कंट्रोल एनी वॉल्व देन दैट वॉल्व इज कंट्रोल्ड इलेक्ट्रिकली बट द ऑपरेशन देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेशन हाइड्रोलिक ऑपरेशन और न्यूमेटिक ऑपरेशन सो एनी वॉल्व विच इज रिलेटेड टू न्यूमेटिक सिस्टम इज ऑपरेटेड न्यूमेटिकली एंड एनी वॉल्व विच इज रिलेटेड टू हाइड्रोलिक सिस्टम लाइक फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल इफ देर इज एन वॉल्व इन लैंडिंग गेयर इफ देर इज एनी वॉल्व इन स्लैट्स फ्लैप्स और एनी थिंग विच इज कनेक्टेड टू द हाइड्रोलिक सिस्टम दैन दैट इज ऑपरेटेड हाइड्रोलिकली बट द कंट्रोल विल बी इलेक्ट्रिकली ओनली बिकॉज द स्विच इज इलेक्ट्रिकली कंट्रोल आई होप दिस मेक सेंस फॉर यू सो हेयर ऑल्सो द ऑपरेशन इज न्यूमेटिकली एंड कंट्रोल इज इलेक्ट्रिकली ईच इंजन नेसल इज एंटीआईज बाय एन इंडिपेंडेंट एयर ब्लीड फ्रॉम द हाई प्रेसर कंप्रेसर दिस इज अ लाइन टू नोट ईच इंजन नेसल हैज एन इंडिपेंडेंट एयर ब्लीड फ्रॉम द हाई प्रेसर कंप्रेसर सो दिस नेसल इज नॉट सप्लाइड विद न्यूमेटिक एयर विच वॉज सप्लाइंग द ऑल अदर सिस्टम्स लाइक आई विल मेक इट क्लियर हेयर ओनली इन दिस लाइन यू विल नॉट सी इंजन एन टी आईज रिटर्न एनी वेयर देर इज ओनली विंग एन टी आईज सो फ्रॉम वेयर दिस इंजन एन टी आईज न्यूमेटिक इज टेकन दिस ब्लीड इज टेकन सो देर इज अ सेपरेट लाइन फॉर द नेसल एन टी आईसिंग it is not connected with the normal uh, pneumatic line normal bleed line there is a separate line that's why i was saying each nasal is antiized by an independent air bleed from the high pressure compressor there is a separate line which supplies the nasal and there is the valve which is connected to their respective push button there are two push buttons for left engine there is one for left engine one for right engine and this valve is connected with the switches so the engine antis valves are operated by the respective switches the engine must be running for the system to work obviously there is no doubt engine must be running for the operation and in the event of electrical failure the valve will remain open now this is a point to note if electrical power loss lo loses then this valve will remain open and the wing uh, sorry this nacelle will be supplied with the hot air but same the electrical power was not there in the aircraft the wing anti ice valve will close this will close right now there are three conditions when you uh, presses this push button uh, number 1 when you uh, when anti ice valve is operated maximum n1 is limited for an example maximum n1 was 60% it is limited but the minimum idle rpm is increased minimum idle rpm was let's say 20% then it increases to 24 25% to provide adequate bleed air pressure and number 3 3 things happens number 3 continuous ignition is applied to the engines generally continuous ignition is not applied during cruise or any normal phase of the flight but in this case when you have pressed engine anti ice button then continuous ignition will be applied uh, the logic works like uh, now uh, there are icing conditions there are raining conditions that's why the pilot has choose uh, engine anti ice to operate so 
FedEx automatically gives the continuous ignition to the continuous ignition to the engines. Now I have covered both engine and wing anti-icing. Now comes the window heating. Uh, we have covered wing NTIs, engine NTIs, now comes the window heating. Now window heating, electrical heating is used for NTIing each window, windshield. Two window heating computers, WHCs, two window heating computers, one for each side automatically regulates the temperature and provides overheating protection. One for left window and one for right window. We have two WHCs, one for captain side, one for first officer side. This computer works automatically because the push button remains on auto in general. So whatever is written by the side, that is the normal uh, operation of that uh, push button on will be written on the push button if you will press it this this push button keeps the system running keeps the system on so in generally probe and window heat uh, push button remains on auto so in auto condition the windows or the uh, windshield will be heated if at least one engine is running on the ground or the aircraft is in the flight right if you have pressed that push button manually then though it will uh, heat the windows no matter what right low heating is provided on the ground and normal power is given to the windows in the air now i even used to get confused when the windows or the probes are heated normally when they are heated low when they are uh, operated um, like uh, when or in which state the windows and probes are uh, powered low or high uh, heat given high or low heat i will clear this thing uh, after in this video now this was all about uh, uh, window heating there is nothing much more important now comes the probe heating now comes the probe heating the pitot static angle of attack sensor and total air temperature sensors to total air temperature uh, probes are electrically heated there are three independent probe heat computers which controls automatically so one monitors and controls the captain side probes another uh, PHC probe heat computer controls and monitors first officer side probes and the third one is for standby probes there are three probe heating computers probe heat computers which controls captain side first officer side and standby probes probes are heated automatically when when at least one engine is running the situation is same when one engine is running on the ground and the aircraft is in the flight probes and windshields are heated right but if you have pressed that push button which push button this if you have press, pressed this push button then no matter what the windows and probes will be heated but there is a catch if you are on the ground and you have pressed this push button then also tat will not be heated true air temperature these are the tat probes tat probes are not heated on the ground the pitot heating operates in low heat until the aircraft is airborne 
right drain masts are electrically heated whenever there is a electrical power to the aircraft these are the drain masts they are electrically heated whenever there is a power to the aircraft either you have uh, started your apu or you have ground generator or you have started your engine then obviously these drain masts are electrically heated on the ground they operate at low heat and in the flight they operate at normal levels that was all about uh, this all uh, uh, wing ntis engine ntis window heat and the probe heat now uh, i have made this uh, diagram over here if you have pressed that probe and window heat push button then windshield and why uh, probes are heated they are heated low on the ground and normal in the flight similarly probes are heated low on the ground except that but if you have pressed this push button and uh, you are in the flight then they operates at normal power even tat is heated in the flight right now we have covered almost everything uh, now rain removal uh, there is a rain repellent uh, in the cockpit here we can refill it uh, it should be in green arc and uh, it sprays rain repellent from the outside it is uh, uh, advised not to operate it when the aircraft is stationary and uh, i think uh, there is no uh, windows are dry this windshields are dry so that was all about this rain and uh, ice protection system of airbus a320 i hope you liked the video please comment if you like or even if you don't didn't like uh, thank you very much see you next